What's up guys? Welcome back to the ranch. Today I'm checking in with a short video of my giant miscanthus grass by Real World and this is year three. As I back up you can see I'm a five foot seven foot tall <laughs> and this is way over my head which means if I was a deer definitely over my head and I planted this just for screening just here on my food plot and the recommended planting is three of the rhizomes that you get from real world in width so you do a staggered three row width and that makes it a solid wall well I did a two row pass here along the edge of my food plot and this is year three, and you can clearly see how beautiful and tall it is, and you can barely see through it. So I'm very happy with year three and what this looks like. It also thickened up very well. I'm very happy how the rhizomes now are all touching, the plant structures are all touching and become one solid wall. The big thing is, it's invasive, it's gonna spread everywhere. Well, I could tell you in three years here of it growing, it hasn't shown up anywhere else. So it has not invaded or spread anywhere else around my ranch. What I can say is it creeps, and by creep I mean it expands slowly in every direction into each other. So there were spaces when I planted this. Now it's a solid wall. Very happy with this product for three years that I have it growing. It's even done better than my switchgrass, let's just say. Yes, it doesn't it's more tedious to put in. It doesn't take up as much area as the switchgrass can. But for in this small food plot where I had to block the road, which you can no longer see through this wall, which is about 150 yards that way, this has really helped me put up a solid structure that's gonna come back every year and help my deer, which is behind you in my center of my food plot, feel comfortable about standing here. All right, year three, giant miscanthus. All right, I wanted to show you the reverse angle. This is the exact spot I was standing in my food plot, but now on the other side of the miscanthus wall. The sunlight's at a different angle, so I wanted you to see how you can't even see through the miscanthus from this way. If I was a deer in that field, and I was down on the road behind the camera at 150 yards, which is what I'm screening from, you would not be able to see the deer in the middle of my food plot and the deer would be way more comfortable about me passing off in the distance because it would not be able to see me. You can really see with a different angle of sun how this is a much more solid wall and with the downgrade of my property, it even appears taller from this angle. So this was a great screening solution for me. And I am not a professional, I am just a super enthusiast, and I'm real happy at how this grew. I mean, for real, look how tall it is.